Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted, um, but I wanted to show you the entire process of incubating Conternix quail eggs um, all the way until them laying, because it takes about eight to 10 weeks for them to lay. And so uh, I'm gonna start this video now, and then you know, in a few weeks from now, I'll show you the juveniles, uh, and then the adults um, finally laying. And so I wanna show you kind of the whole process, but this is the first day I'm actually getting the eggs from my Shire Farms. And I ordered 90 eggs. Um, they are golden and I think the other, I can't even remember the other color I got, but there's two different colors. And so uh, I'll show you the eggs now and then I'm gonna stick them in the incubator and then hopefully, you know, I have a decent hatch rate. So I've already opened the box. I love the way this guy ships though. They're in uh, foam padded containers. And so here's 30 of one color. And then underneath these guys, be careful, you can see them is uh, 60 of the other color. So those are the goldens underneath. And then these are 30 of the other color. Okay, so my room is an absolute disaster right now. I have uh, Cayuga eggs that I'm putting in on top of some Ducle eggs. And then I have um, some random um, olive eggers as well. And then I'm hatching just a few black copper marins. I picked some of my darkest eggs out just because I'm in need of another rooster uh, for breeding for this season or for this coming season. And then, of course, you have the um, the 90 Caternus quail eggs um, that I took out. And I actually found out the names are actually labeled on here because um, I said I didn't know before. But I think it's pretty cool that this um, breeder uh, mailed some Celadon eggs. So these are, um, it's like a blue uh, egg gene for quail. And then on the bottom shelf, hatching I have uh, some more olive eggers and marins and then up top I have some button quail that are growing out before I put them down there just because they're a little cold sensitive so there's definitely a lot going on right here So I want to show you guys some of the goldens. <laughs> so squirmy, but you can tell they have the uh, stripe patterns on their back. Um, and they're either manicurin, I think they're called, or the uh, Italian. So those are two different types um, of what's considered golden. I just took a couple out because I can't deal with uh, 15 or 20 of them right now. <laughs> And these are uh, a couple of the uh, other color, so definitely darker in their patterns. Um, I still have yet to pronounce their name correctly, so I'm not even going to try. But I'll put it as a subtitle um, below. So really cool colors, though. This one has a really cool face. So all in all, um, with the 90 eggs that went in, I think about 60 actually hatched. I had two casualties. Um, you know, just, I think they were runts or they just didn't make it. Maybe they got squished or something. Um, so 58 made it out. Um, I gave a few to my friend, um, who lives down the road just cause he wanted to start his own little quail breeding thing. And, uh, I had a lot of extra goldens cause I already had goldens down there as well. Um, so I'm going to keep these guys in my room for a week, let them, you know, just acclimate and get their strength up before I move them down to the brooder, um, down by the coops. Um, and so I'm going to actually show you, uh, what the, uh, partridges or the, uh, chew cars look like right now because they're about two and a half months old. So, uh, the rabbit hutch is where the partridges are growing out. Uh, I put them in here just so that I have to get, uh, a, a screen for the top of their coop just cause they fly. So I, uh, don't want to lose them. So they're uh, turning out to be beautiful birds. Um, I think I have one male and three females. Um, I gave three partridges away. Um, I think a trio um, to a, a local customer. So I ended up with four. And so they're, uh, they're really cool looking birds.
I had two in previous videos, but they were just uh, two females that I adopted. I've never actually bred these types of quail before. Um, so I wasn't sure, you know, when they begin laying um, and, you know, male to female ratio. And so I'm learning all of that as I kind of go along. Um, and the males really aren't aggressive, I noticed, even with a high male to female ratio. And so these are the quail I got, I want to say, nine weeks ago. And they actually started laying at six and a half, seven weeks. And maybe it was early, but I did add light. Um, and so, yeah, I started getting eggs maybe uh, a month and a half, two months in. And so these are the ones um, that I first started with. So these, uh, they're actually right next to the partridges, but they have a little coop. Um, and so I have about uh, nine of these. I'm not sure on the male to female ratio. Um, I know these, these goldens are uh, males right here. And then I have some females in the back. But uh, they're probably the friendliest quail I've ever raised. You can pick them up. They don't um, fly crazy like the uh, buttons when I go in the uh, in their little coop. And so these types of quail, caternics, are definitely larger than the buttons. Um, they're meteor birds, not as flighty, um, and their eggs are, are significantly bigger. So they're definitely a better quail to raise if you're looking for production and stuff like that. So you can see they're definitely friendlier than the uh, buttons. Allow you to pick them up, no problem. And they're really beautiful birds. Maybe have a little more growing to do, but I think that's about it for them. My Cayugas actually also started laying last week. Um, and the first egg I got from them was white, so I was a little disappointed. But as the other females started laying, I got black or these charcoal eggs I'm going to show you in a sec. So it was pretty awesome. So I started incubating those um, and hoping for more ducklings. Probably not the best time of the year to uh, actually incubate them, but, you know, I, I couldn't wait once I got them. And so just to give you an idea of the uh, Cayuga's egg color, this one was her first egg. She laid it yesterday. Um, and then these guys have been laying for maybe five, six days. And then um, the last, I'm sorry, the first laying hens um, are, have already gone white. And so you can see the transition of colors um, just from maybe a week and a half, two weeks. Um, but they do start out beautiful. Thank you guys for always watching my videos. Um, for those of you who follow along, especially on Instagram and stuff like that, um, I do want to apologize about inconsistently posting videos on YouTube. Um, I'm currently applying to med school right now, so the whole application process and getting ready and studying for the MCAT, it's been kind of taking up my time. Um, but after January, I should have a little more free time, maybe post once or twice a week. Um, and so next video, I actually want to show you guys the new mutation of button quails I got. They're called Darth Vader. And so uh, I should post that one in about five, six days when they hatch.